guys, it's Bob here and in this video I've got another unboxing for you and this one will be followed in a week with a review. So I'll give you a look around at what we've got and what we've got is the Empower Muse Touch Bluetooth headphone. So quick look around the box, you can see, you know, pretty much tells you what it is, shows you what it is, what you're getting. Um, support at xmpower.com and there's the website for you so you can go and check that out i'll leave all the links below as well uh, so as you can see um, you know it's very basic on the box you can see a photograph of what you actually get on the front and let's get it open now i've already slipped the tapes on the back uh, there is no cellophane wrapper or anything like that but these boxes are every bit as suction heavy as Apple boxes so oh, there we go and we're in so immediately presented as you can see with the headphones you can see that they do fold so if we take that out just put that there for a moment and see what else we get in the bottom of the box so if we take that out and you can see all you actually get is a couple of cables and instruction manual and the return and exchange uh, warranty information there and if I give you that and you can see the top one is for their Facebook and the bottom one is for their Twitter so you can pause there and uh, scan those if you want to so put those to one side the box is now empty and let's see the cables right so <clears throat> now they are um, Bluetooth so obviously you need to be able to charge so there's your charge lead okay USB to micro USB and we also get 3.5 to 3.5 now these are very nice actually um, like an all sort of chrome plated construction very nice with a flat anti-tangle cable very nice cable actually so very it's very sort of rubberized I think that's the word I was looking for so put all that to one side and we'll uh, show you the headphones so you can see the fold <coughs> uh, marks left and right on the inside obviously got a nice soft um, head cushion there these are extremely soft and flexible on the ear parts here you can see we've got some degrees of movement and rotation there in the ear cups and you can see that they extend like so not masses of extension um, I'm actually quite large headed but these at full extension do fit me so uh, there's no problem there and I, I believe me I have got a pretty large head guys <laughs> so um, yeah I mean as you can see you've got the whole few 3.5 on the bottom there and the charging port there and this is your controls for it now you've got your power button there that is your power button in fact if I turn that on for you you can see what it does and you can see I don't know if you can see that flashing can you yeah if I just cover that up just to keep the light on a second you should be able to see there you go now it's flashing because it's actually connected to my phone right now um, so these are your actual controls now it's called the Muse Touch because it is basically touch controlled so you actually start by putting your finger in the middle and you run it out like that so this is on your right ear so that would skip the track doing that would take the uh, take you back to the previous track and then obviously you've got your volume up and your volume down and you can also double press that that will access your last call you press and hold it for a second or so i believe and it brings you uh, it actually it surprised me actually it connects to siri uh, so that can be quite helpful uh, this was the surprising thing uh, there's obviously a microphone built in but there's no hole for it so it's obviously built in and works pretty well actually so um, like I say I'm quite impressed with that side of it they've got a lovely sort of it's almost like a, a rubbery feel to the finish um, not shiny so not going to be um, like a fingerprint magnet or anything like that and that that feel and uh, finish continues literally all the way around the entire device and you can see the company branding on the end of there I've had a few things off Empower before and I've always found them to be very good quality 
and the connectivity is pretty much perfect. Um, in fact, I've never had to enter a code with Apple devices, um, but there is a code four zeros, the standard sort of code for Bluetooth equipment. Um, but I've never had to use it. So there you go, guys. Um, give me about a week and there will be a review and uh, you'll be able to hear my thoughts on it. So there you go, guys. That is the uh, Muse Touch Bluetooth 4 from MPAL. Cheers, guys. I'll see you in the next one.